All right. Here's my little video about uh, debunking multi-level marketing myths. Um, I was a hater. My name is Bria. I was a hater. Uh, I was a hater because I really didn't know anything about it. Um, I thought that I don't like being sold to because who likes to be sold to? Um, I, you know, I just, I, was, I didn't even pay attention to it until one of my friends started making triple six figures a year <laughs> I started paying attention to it. Um, once I, you know, started with Unique, it really opened my eyes to a whole lot of things. Um, so I don't hate on the haters, you know? I understand where that comes from. The fact is that anybody, anybody can sign up to do uh, direct sales, which is a double-edged sword. It's super duper awesome because you're taking charge and trying to employ yourself in the economy where a lot of people, and we're not doing so good here in the States. Um, but at the same time, because anybody can do it, sometimes people decide to take kind of spammy, not super great tactics to sell their product. It happens. Um, my company, Unique, actually tries really hard to prevent that from happening. We want to stay classy. We are classy. And um, they have a whole team out there just to stop presenters from uh, advertising in classy ways. First of all, what you need to not stop hating on direct sales. Um, in this economy, people um, are in, will spend six years in college, and um, then they get out of college and they don't have a job. And not only do they have a job, they are $60,000 in debt. Um, they're standing in line at Starbucks trying to get a job at Starbucks and find out they're overqualified for Starbucks. Um, that's, that's where we're at. You know, people can't get jobs. So uh, the people that sign up for different direct marketing, uh, you know, multi-level marketing products are taking charge. They're employing themselves. They didn't fill out an application. They just are, they're doing it. Um, so you can't hate on that. You know, it's people, and a lot of them, 80, something like over 80% of women in this country that make more than $100,000 a year do so via direct sales. So think about that bunch of moms many of them have kids um, we're at home we need to be bringing an extra kit income we don't want to do child care um, we want to do something that we can still be at home and and do what we need to do and we choose direct sales because it makes the most sense there's the most opportunity there you can't hit on that either um, many direct marketing products direct sales products are awesome Lots of them are made in the USA. So not only by purchasing from, um, you know, you're a friend, um, somebody who's representing a lot of the different companies that are out there, um, you're directly actually supporting them. And that's really awesome. Um, personally, I'd rather do that than go to, you know, Walmart. Um, not only am I going to be getting a much more quality product, but I'm also going to be giving directly to my friend or a friend of my friend or somebody within, you know, my community, and that feels really good. So you're helping to stimulate the economy. You are, you know, supporting the people around you and empowering the people around you, but you're also getting a quality product. Um, the whole pyramid scheme thing is so 20 years ago. That doesn't really exist anymore. You know, um, the people that decide to venture into direct sales um, are doing so because there is an opportunity there. I personally know a couple of people who are making very, very, very good money doing this. So that isn't a fib either. So no, no stone throwing until you know exactly what you're doing. And for those of us who do, for those of you that do support um, direct sales and marketing, thank you. We appreciate it. I was able to buy school clothes for my daughter. I paid my mortgage and all my bills this month. Um, and I, I didn't have to pay for childcare once. And you know, that's pretty awesome. So, um, thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> all right, over and out.